Hey guys, welcome back to another week of What's for Dinner. My name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. In my household, there's me, my husband, and our adorable one-year-old little boy. Welcome to the fourth and final week of the Pantry and Freezer Challenge. Special thanks to everyone that participated right along with me. Shout out to Frugal Mama in the Wood. She's another YouTuber who, when she found out I was doing this challenge, said she wanted to do it too. So she has been cooking from her freezer and pantry as well. I'll link her channel in the description box so you can go and check her out. Um, but today I am making easy chicken tetrazzini and this is from an old cookbook that I have so I will make sure to um, leave a screenshot of the recipe so that you guys can have it it's not on the internet anywhere so um, but it calls for ingredients that of course I already had on hand so I cooked up some spaghetti noodles and what I have put in there so far is some chicken from my freezer it was cooked chicken and then I just shredded it up into individual bags like this for recipes so this is about three cups of chicken that I'm adding in and then it calls for some canned mushrooms I'm gonna pop that in some cream of mushroom soup and gonna give it a stir and I'm gonna add in my sour cream gonna sprinkle in some Parmesan and then save the rest for the top So I added in a little onion powder and garlic powder. No salt because we're trying to cut back on salt. And I feel like there's enough salt in that cream of mushroom soup. So here I have a two quart casserole that I have lightly sprayed. And just gonna drop this in. And I'm going to top the casserole with the rest of this Parmesan. And if I didn't mention it already, I uh, have my oven preheated to 350 degrees. I'm gonna bake this for half an hour and then I will be back to show you how it turns out. Okay, so here is the chicken tetrazzini. It is really good, Howard and I tasted it. I'll definitely make this again and then with it, I just sauteed some broccoli in some olive oil and onion salt. This is fresh broccoli. And then here is the recipe. Like I said, it's an old recipe um, from an old cookbook and so it's not online. So I am holding it here so you guys can screenshot it. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are having Sloppy Joe's. Actually, it's just me eating tonight. Howard is not feeling well, so he's gonna eat later or either have some soup. But I had this manwich mix in my pantry that I needed to use. Of course, I had ground beef on hand. And then to my Sloppy Joe, I actually toasted mine in a little bit of butter, and then I'm having a slice of this cheese. This is the best cheese, it is so good. So I'm having that and then I have Sloppy Joe meat on the bottom, cheese in the middle, and then Sloppy Joe meat on top. And then I'm also having some cheese puffs. These are the Great Value brand cheese puffs. I've only recently started buying Great Value brand chips. I bought, I bought their um, knockoff Frito scoops and Fritos and now these, and I've been really happy with all of them. They are really a great substitute for the um, Frito-Lay brand. Um, way cheaper and they're, you really can't tell the difference. They're really pretty good. So anyway, this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so today is Howard's birthday and the birthday boy wanted Thai food. So that is what he got. So let me show you, we are having some um, fried rice and some crispy herb chicken. It's really good. Uh, red curry chicken and it's served over steamed rice which is in this box right here um, got some steamed dumplings with dipping sauce and then we have some spring rolls so Thai food is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time
Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are having breaded chicken patty sandwiches. The buns are left over from the um, sloppy joes that we had. And so these are the chicken patties that we are using. They are from Aldi. And then I also made some wedge seasoned potatoes. They are from Walmart. And I cooked them both in my air fryer at the same time. So this is Howard's plate and he has provolone on the bottom, the chicken patty. And then he has this secret sauce. And um, I heard that it tastes like the Big Mac sauce on the Big Macs from McDonald's. Howard says it tastes mayo-y and pickle-y. Um, I don't know if that's a good thing or not, but that's what he is having along with, um, I think I may have said his avocado. He does not like his bun toasted, so he is eating it plain. And then these are the wedge fries right here. This is my plate, looks boring because I really do not like condiments on my sandwiches. If I do have condiments on there, it's a very thin schmear. That is it. But I do like my bun toasted, so I toasted mine with some butter. And then I just have some provolone cheese. Now that I'm thinking about it, I could have fried up some bacon. That would have been really good on the sandwiches. And then here are my wedge fries because I'm not a huge wedge fry potato person. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, quick and easy dinner tonight. This was in my freezer. I bought a bunch of these a while back ago when Kroger had them on sale and Howard really likes them. I'm not a huge fan. So it comes in this little pizza tray and then you just bake it directly on the oven rack for about 20 minutes at I think 425. As you can see, we forgot to spread the pepperonis out before we threw it in the oven. But it's supposed to be a um, a loaded pan pizza and let me try to show you this without getting burnt. It's pretty thin, but what's unique about this pizza is on the bottom of the pizza, they put pepperonis. So there's pepperonis on the bottom of the pan and then the pepperonis bake into the crust. And to me, it seems like these pizzas never get done enough for me. Um, Howard is okay with a little doughy, doughiness like in his pizza or cookies or bread or whatever. I don't, I like mine well done and I just feel like this pizza never gets well done for me. Um, but anyway, this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time.